Hello everyone and welcome to another Elio Web Forecast video day. My name is Eric. Today is the 11th of March around 4.45 p.m. Eastern Times. Uh, in today, we're going to take a, a look and then a stock and a company that it can be presenting an opportunity that years from now can be like a wasting opportunity if not look at it with the right eyes. As an investor myself, I always look at instruments which uh, they've been weaker than the regular uh, market in order to buy, so I buy very cheap in order to have highest company uh, profit. In to, like in 2009, uh, the decline across the market world was uh, the reason that it was mentioning was the real estate market. Now we have a, the, the issue with the virus and the cruise a, industry is taking a hit. A, having said that, a, I'm looking at some, today we're gonna take a look at some of the stock like a Carnival Cruise and Royal Caribbean. And we're gonna compare them and try to identify a, opportunities into the future. I strongly believe that the cruise industry won't go away because of the virus, right? It can take the hit like everyone, like the houses took in 2009, but today's the real estate market is about the peaks of 2006, 2007. So uh, like I say, let's take a look pretty fast to these two stocks or companies and figure it out where we are and what opportunities can be there for the future. We're gonna start with a Royal Caribbean here in the Grand Super Cycle of Royal Caribbean. A, it's clearly that it has one, two, three, four, five. And all of the sudden is dropping. I wanna mention to you guys that if for month, uh, we've been talking about the grand super cycle in the SPY and why the grand super cycle in the SPY, it was coming to the end. Uh, we were mentioning that uh, everywhere we go, uh, everywhere we talk, everywhere with friends and in social media, that we were mentioning that this cycle from 2009, in the super cycle from 2009, in in SPY, it was possible that it was coming to the end. I think that already ended, right? I think that already ended, and that we are most likely in the big way for that we were expecting sometimes in 2020. Uh, everybody knows that we in Elio Way forecast that we've been mentioning that 2020 is going to create the biggest dip in the market since 2009. Now, if the SPY, like I say, it seems like it ended the cycle from a, from 2009 and that, a, and that it's gonna correct in three, seven, and 11. I know an individual that get caught in this area, right? I always, and as an investor, I look at this hysteria that is around the market, that every, the world is coming to the end, things are crashing. I look at it as an opportunity. In 2008, 2009, look at the decline in the SPY. In hysteria, the SPY is gonna, the S&P is gonna go to 200. SPY is gonna trade to around 20. And guess what? Look what happened after. This is a flat. A flat in any way is something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, and five is blooded in the sea way but that's the opportunity understanding the elio way structures that's a flat there is five weeks here and three weeks back in the way of a flat these are five weeks in elio way one two three four five three weeks back so after five weeks you should be expecting three if we look at the spy there are five weeks from here to here so you're expecting a pullback. And now you have to know what is happening. You need to locate the labels and invest. Don't 
go all the way in, in crisis, in, in hysteria, and say, I'm going to sell everything. No, that doesn't work like that. The market doesn't move in straight lines, neither to the upside, neither to the downside. This is an opportunity, in my view. Now, let's talk about Royal Caribbean here. This is Royal Caribbean. In Royal Caribbean there is, without, without a doubt, in a tremendous decline, right? This is 2009, and if I put the chart of the SPY over here with Royal Caribbean, you don't need to figure out too much to figure out that they trade <laughs> the same type of market, right? They trade more or less the same, right? You're going to see it here. Those two together, they trade the same. That's Royal Caribbean on the top and the SPY on the bottom. They trade the same. Now, what is significant to me, first of all, that from zero, assuming that at one moment it started very low, Royal Caribbean, we are trading already at the 618.764, very deep. That's good. Because, like I say, I'm not expecting the cruise industry to go out of business. Now, as a waiver, I have to say, okay, I can see from here, one, two in blue. By the way, our wave two here in blue in Royal Caribbean, like the SPY, it was a flat. Three, three, and five strong. In 2009, you need to have what it takes to be buying at right here at 7. Today, you have to have what it takes. Or soon, you're going to have what it takes to buy Royal Caribbean around 30 to 10 area again. An expectation, more upside. So, Royal Caribbean did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in blue. Eventually, this is no part of this cycle already. And eventually, this strong decline, in my view, is a flat. How does the flat look like in, in the chart? Three, three, and five. In Elio Wave Theory, three, three, and five. That's what we have here, a flat. If we took and we look, this is the daily chart, or the weekly chart, better say, that's how it looks like. This is the monthly in which you have five weeks and three weeks back. That's exactly what the Elio Way theory say, five and three back. Now, we're gonna downgrade it here. We know it's a flat. A flat is three, three, a full retest of the high and a strong decline. If we go downgrade it in the four, in the eight hour chart, from the peak, we have one, two, one, two, then we have this selling, that's wave three, four and five. If we look at the stochastic, you can see that from this peak we have one, two, one, two, three, the snake, a four, a five. And Royal Caribbean right there is starting to see the end coming. You see the divergency from here. I still believe that is not ready yet to rally. I still believe that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still believe that it might do an eight and a nine. Now, that's Royal Caribbean, right? That's Royal Caribbean. Very nice. It's a flat from the peak that happens at January 2018. Some of European indices and the Japanese peak in October, September of 2019. So this is a flat, right? Now, let's see Carnival Cruise. We go to Carnival and eventually also it has dropped, right? And we're going to have and we're going to add it here to this chart of Royal Caribbean, right? Eventually, the trade is the same in industry, right? The trade the same. And I figured out something 
very interesting that when a uh, royal caribbean is doing a flat from this peak we have three three and a brutal flat right which is this structure right here three three and five cannibal is not doing a flat because the bounce in cannibal he never 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 retest the highs but they have the same highs so for me cannibal is doing an abc and cannibal should be trading lower into 18 10 area so the way that we look at the market and we work in any way for cash is that we always look at similar centers we divide the market in in the six etf stocks yen pesos a uh, commodity currencies commodity crosses and u.s dollar pairs and we find a relationship among them and we try to say okay how do you pick a bottom in a flat the flat is brutal it can stand i use someone here from the same industry and saying when carnival reach 1845 we should see a, 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 a base to start to a, the market should be creating a base around carnival in this area and then that's when the wave four and five and royal caribbean it will end so for me the avc in carnival which is the same industry right here is giving me the uh, the insurance that the royal caribbean is a flat what is the difference that right here i should end with no divergency this way five these five weights in cannibal they need to end with momentum divergency it is possible that we ending already that we have the five here the four and soon it's gonna be ending when the s p is around 25 96 you can write the level down but this can create a unique opportunity or investment in the cruise industry i don't expect in the cruise industry to go out of business uh, to be honest with you guys now the alternative view that i don't like it but it is an alternative view is that this is just a b and c or that this is a bit one two three four and just make a marginal height and it bounce regardless what are the views that can be seen as alternative that we don't use in an earlier way you're never gonna see a chart of earlier weight with alternative views our charts only present one view right i believe that looking at carnival to create the floor of the market and buying both carnival and royal caribbean when carnival here which is the same industry i repeat it again when carnival reach around these areas which is between 18 and 10 that should be a unique opportunity that the market can present with the years to come let the market decide as always but as an investor as a forecaster and as an analyst i will look at all these details and i do never ever ever react to an hysteria it's a tremendous setup don't question us this stock has gone from 140 almost 140 all the way to 40. for me it's an opportunity that's the way i see it so uh, that's the video for today i hope you guys find it interesting any feedback is welcome and if you like it as always take our free trial 14 days free trial and you guys gonna get more of this analytics among 78 instrument every day in live sessions in 24 hour support have a good day everyone and enjoy the rest of the day thank you guys all.